Hello everybody and welcome to my first review, first video on the Ohana channel. I'm going to be doing this first review solo. I will be doing in the future reviews with other people, but I thought that I might as well get this started because since everybody else is posting videos, I think I should post one to keep up with the times, current events y'all, all that faux shizzle. Let's get to this. First thing that I'll be reviewing is a TV show, a TV show that I'm been really interested into lately, which is Revolution. I think Revolution is a really good show, and you're going to want to give it a chance because it develops. It's not like most shows where it just kind of kicks off right away. I mean, it picks up pace relatively fast. It's not. It doesn't drag at all because there's only one season on Netflix. By the way, it's on Netflix, so you have no excuse not to watch it or at least give it a shot. It's on Netflix. It's really good. But you need to give it that shot to watch first three episodes or something before you can make your decision whether you don't like it or if you do like it. So let me set the scene here for you, okay? This is some backstory, and I'm not going to do any spoilers here. I'm not going to give anything really spoilery, anything spoilery, in fact. I'm going to try to keep this um, relatively spoiler-free. If I do say something that you consider a spoiler, I'm sorry, but I probably I don't consider that a spoiler then. Anyway, on to setting the scene. It takes place in America. Yay, America! <laughs> it takes place in America, and kind of modern day, but like, an event happened that changed the world. And not, not just America, the whole world. And this event was the blackout. What was the blackout, you might be asking? Well, the blackout was... All the electricity in the world just it just stopped working. I don't know how else to describe it because it's not it's not it's not dead. It's not not functioning. It just stopped. Well, it's it is not not functioning. So, so let me just, it, that's what it is. It's just not working, and nobody knows why. But since all the power is out, like it, you think, well, what's going to happen? Society's not going to be all hunky dory. Okay, we we need the power because it has become our society. It. Without electricity, we cannot reach long distances and have those long distances, connections, and relations to everything. And so, society eats itself. People go crazy with power. They, they kill people because they're hungry, because they don't, because refrigerators don't work. You can't go to the grocery store because you can't put your money in, and they can't bring their money to the bank, and the bank can't have electronic data money thingies. I don't know. I'm not a banker. But so society eats itself. Government collapses, and... That's where our show takes place. It takes place 15 years after the blackout. So new, this new society has risen up from the ashes of the old USA. In this new society, there's five different... I think it's five. It might be more or less, but this is what I remember. There are five main societies. you got Texas. Texas became its own society. So that's, that's interesting. We haven't seen Texas yet. So I, I don't know what's in store with that. I can't give any spoilers away on that. Texas... Plains Nation, Monroe Republic, the uh, Georgia Conf is it? Let's say Confederate Georgia Confederation, something G Georgia something, and then there's the West Coast, which is like California and all that. I don't know how big everything is, but it's relatively big. This the main characters live inside the Monroe Republic, and the main character, our protagonist, is a girl that you will all not like. Starting out this show, I really didn't like her. She was annoying. She was whiny. She is none other than Charlie. And she does grow as a character. And she slightly grows on you, but she will... I don't think she'll be your favorite character. She's not mine, but if you like her, that's all the more to you. Because there was definitely character growth in there. Because she starts out really whiny and sad. And, oh, no, 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 this happened. No, 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 this happened. We gotta stop. And then she meets her uncle. Because... Due to certain events that happen, her brother gets captured, and she has nobody to take care of her anymore. I mean, things happen. I can't... There will be spoilers if I said what exactly did happen, but they lived in a small town. I can tell you this. They lived in a small town with her father, her father's new wife, her brother, and this guy named Aaron, who was her father's friend. Her father can't go to find their uncle... Ma her uncle Miles and the brother got captured by the Monroe Republic so she has to go with Erin and her stepmom to all the way over to the I think it's the western side and I think they're in California and they have to go find Miles and so they do 
Big Fat Nas, I think it's like the first second episode. I'm pretty sure it's the first episode. I can't remember. I've been binging. <laughs> Everything's blurred right at this current moment of what's happening when. So they find Miles, and Miles is just really, really cool. He's really badass. He, because he was part of the military. He did tours in Iraq, and so he knows how to fight. And what's really cool is um, they can't use guns in this show, not as not as much, because Monroe Republic banned them. Because if you give guns to everybody, it's, it's still kind of lawless. People still take the law into their own hand, and people don't really get chastised for it, and there's no really repercussions unless you mess with the Monroe Republic. And so what happens there is uh, you have to become really good with like a sword or a bow and arrow or something. Because if the Monroe Republic finds you with a gun, they will kill you. So, like, Miles, you just see him, and he's just, he's just got a sword, and he just has, like, a bow attached to, like, a desk, and he, he just plots things out because he's smart. He, not only is he, is he really badass, but he's, he's smart, too. He knows how to calculate things, and there's a reason why he's so good at, like, managing other people and managing himself in, in a battle. Another character which I really like is Aaron, which is, like, the father's friend, Charlie's father's friend. He's a really cool, interesting character. He's really sweet, but he's kind of meek. He's really nerdy. He says that he used to be a Google millionaire. And that's true. There, were, that's not. He's not just saying that. Because the reason why you know this is because there's flashbacks that take you bef sometimes before the blackout, sometimes a couple days after the blackout, maybe a, a two months. And it gives you a little insight into the character, which is really cool. And so because of that you learn that he was a google millionaire and you learn that he was this, he's a really kind of wimpy he's a chubbier not not chubby he's, he's pretty heavy to say the least but he's a sweet guy and you, you see him slowly start to change into somebody who's not a wimp anymore that he's willing to take action which is actually really cool because you're like oh i gotta protect this character and he's like i don't want to be protecting protected i want to protect other people and he does that, and he does what's he starts to do what's necessary, but he never loses his humanity. As you'll see, that's kind of what happens to Charlie. She becomes really hardened because that's what Miles is, and that's her role model is not is now Miles. And she becomes really hardened and detached, while Aaron becomes stronger, but he still has his heart. He won't compromise that for anybody. He still has his morals, and that's what keeps him human. Another character that isn't introduced until after they have Miles and a little bit later is Nora. She's interesting. She's one of my uh, one of the female characters that I like a little bit more because later on you have another character, and she just is a lot like Charlie in the beginning because she just whines and cries, and I really don't like her because that's all she does, and she complains. She's like, I gotta do this. This is necessary. And it's like, shut up. You're kind of making this worse because you're crying so much. That's not what Nora does. Nora's, um, she's not as cool as Miles, not as tough as Miles, because she still has the heart of Aaron, but if there was a scale, it would be like, Aaron's the, Aaron's the nicest, he's the softest, there'd be Nora, and then there'd be Miles. And right under Miles would be Charlie, kind of in between Nora. And I'm not really sure how she's going to develop yet. I'm not done watching the series. And so, you, Nora's knows how to blow things up, and that's really cool and there's not much to say about her because her and Miles had a thing beforehand but they really don't haven't gone into that yet from what I've watched so I don't know how to really describe her but the antagonist of the series he's, a, he's actually a really good antagonist which would be his name is Monroe Monroe is kind of he's got an obsession over miles miles and him have a history and he's of course since his name is monroe he's captain of the Mon general of the monroe republic he leads that he's a little off hinge i don't know how to off kilter he's he's not sane he's not a good guy because he's like i must do what's necessary you can't betray me blah 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 but you have these moments where you have this very detached character and very reposed and a little crazy and he's not afraid to kill you to where he totally flips and you think that he could change he has this very humanizing moments where it's like i can't be that guy that i used to be i have to be this guy i have to be this crazy guy because i don't trust not only do i not trust anybody but nobody trusts me and he can't be who he used to be and so i really like that 
to summarize this all up, the characters are really good. They change. Give it a little chance. Watch a couple episodes and then go through with it. And then like see if you like it or not. And go through with it if you like it. Don't. If you don't like it, then that's not for you. It's kind of post-apocalyptic, but not really. It's just that society's caved in on itself and there's no power anymore. So this is what they have to do to survive. Later on, they get guns. So if you want gunfights, you'll get it. You just have to stick through it a little bit. Now I'm going to discuss my rating system on how I'm going to rate things. I have a rate. I rate them on a scale of swag. I thought, I hope you like it. I have S W A G. Swag is super. W S is super. W is wonderful. A is uh, is all right, and G is grotesque. So I would give this a wonderful because it's not. I think that super. It's super. It's amazing. You should watch it. Go out and watch it now. When I know that this is not going to be for everybody, it's going to be for like you like the action, but you have people that you want to see more to it than that. So you get a W for now. I hope you enjoyed this first review. Sorry it took me so long. I've been really busy, but anyway, I'll see you later.